Welcome guys. Thank you to all the people that have been subscribing and liking. Today we want to talk about eGritter. What is eGritter? So eGritter, like I said this year, a light. Those who have built businesses before, whether they are individuals or institutions are coming to the space. As you can see, Amazon coming to the space. Mastercard coming to, coming to develop their own stuff. You are seeing paper filing their own uh, patents. You are seeing a visa. You are seeing many platforms why innovation is the key, right? So no platform wants to be left behind. But let's talk about eGritter. What is eGritter seeking to do? The first thing, if you want to understand eGritter, the first thing you have to understand the tech behind who is actually uh, behind eGritter. So the company that is actually behind eGritter is called eGrit. If you make your research, I'll drop the links, the links to this website. If you make research about this platform, you discover that first they have a very big community when it comes to developers. Second is that they have um this is not just a company that they have the existing base, they know what they are doing, right? So they have the partnership, they have the uh, uh, community of developers, they have a technology that from what they said that has over uh, sixty percent of HTML of uh, five content out there, so it's like these are the real, real guys, right? So now they are coming to the blockchain. I told you the e light. Next thing, for example, for the past few years, you you saw some 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 boys and their men coming to the space. Now you are seeing elders are coming to the space. So if you look at the trends, if you look at the trend like okay the HTML HTML5 um, technology and all that, if you can see you know HTML is the one of the most basic language for for the web, and then the most current of it which is HTML5 which is really standard, it offers a lot of stuff like games and uh, many many stuff, and many technologies uh, or uh, platforms like Facebook. I do Google and most of them they are actually using these stuff. Like you can see, um, WeChat they are developing a series of games that have over 10 million out there users using this technology. Now, if you want to look at some of the pain points, as in general, you can see the internet, for example, there is things like um, there is no way for you to actually do uh, secure payments like that, it is unified. And then there is no way for you to actually store your uh, visual asset as you can see here. Then there is nothing like um, how do you ensure the fair distribution of uh, rewards when it comes to games or uh, content and all that. So those are some of the pain points. And then look at um, what blockchain can do. Then we were saying, okay, where can blockchain come in? So, you know, if you look at times, most times, um, we give the pain point. Oh, this is the problem. And then there is okay. What blo uh, what blockchain can do? But the question is, who is going to build the system? There are a few people who have been able to build our systems. And I believe, uh, Egrater, the com um, that is an offshoot of Egrate can actually build on the system. Why? Because they've done it in the past before. They have they've done it in the past before. That is one one of the, one of the stuff about them. Not only have they done in the, in the past before, they have the community. When it comes to developers, when it, when it comes to uh, partners, and uh, many other stuff, right? So let's give some of the overview about this platform. And the, for the user ecosystem, one of the things they will be doing is that they will be creating uh, a unique password with digital encryption that could be in games, that could be in apps, that could be in many, many, many different stuff. And then uh, provide users with a low threshold, high security digital wallet. And then create a digital token that circulates in each HTML5 projects all over the world. And to build an effective and sustainable ecosystem for users. They are already on the move. Like, um, if you see their partnership with, uh, they already have a partnership with Maculate. And Maculate is one of the uh, hot projects that is out there. So they are on the move to bring it to. On one million HTML5 terminals. 
uh, my uh, uh, chief technical officer when I gave him the project, I said design this stuff. He said he was surprised that uh, the CMF5 is coming on the blockchain. I, I told him that the future is here. So the future is here. And then what are some of the technical aspects with the uh, platform? Now, they, will, they are going to modernize blockchain platforms. What, are, what that means is that they're going to create models that we help with the development of blockchain uh, 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 stocks. So they will modernize blockchain uh, uh, functions. Not only that, they are going to integrate them into the existing uh, egress engine. I told you that um, a large chunk of the web are using this uh, this their engine and all that. So what are they going to do? It's just simple stuff. Just create the modules and integrate them into the server. And then um, and this front end development tools. And also integrate and also integrate the, the tokens into hundreds of thousands of games and applications. Integrate te uh, blockchain technology into the back end service logic, create a complete development suite, documentation and development community to provide the most complete and convenient uh, developer um, ecosystem. So it's a very, very, not only will they develop the complete suite like SDK and all that, we are going to provide documentation that, okay, maybe you are a novice, like there, um, if, if you go on Python website now, Let's go to Python. Python.org. You will see the developments. You can download it. Then you see documentation like, okay, these are audio stuffs, uh, frequently asked questions, Python books, uh, beginner's guide, developer game. You see everything there, right? Then you see the community. Like, okay, you can get uh, the wiki, uh, the Twitter handle, like, okay, the latest events. Success stories and all that. So that is a, that is one of the things they want to do uh, within the um, the platform they are actually uh, building. And then uh, operational aspects like, okay, well, how would they go about the operations? Because you know, if you look at it, most times may, when many people talk about blockchain, this we talk about what they can actually do. But the question is, how can you build it? Okay, after you have built it, operations because it's one thing to build systems, it's another thing to bring it to utility. So they will partner with Google um, and uh, Facebook to have a way established advertising uh, pl uh, platform to promote Egrita based games and products. And then through the Egrita game platform to integrate um, the token. Page 11 gives the utility of the token. So can use it to uh, 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 buy in games, pay for content, use it to take part in lotteries, um, for advertisement, content distribution, for uh, safe storage, and um, many other applications. And then the, 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 the blockchain platform is going to consist of this uh, following the six. It's going to consist of um, blockchain game um, development workflow. So, They've already done it before. If you look, uh, a very key stuff that will actually help you understand uh, this technology is the Egris, the parents company behind this stuff. They have already done it. They've developed the suite that people are actually using. Even um, WeChat have been using this platform. And the, the statistics are there. So they want to create workflows that will help people develop blockchain games. And then um, Distributed um, communications and storage platform. So they will be helping you to store your platforms, game distribution, visual goods, so you can trade goods, and then there will be adverts, and then there will be this uh, Egrita incubator. If you are there, it can actually help you to maybe develop something. And then you have some of the features they will be using the deliberated proof of stake. Um, many platforms have tried it, and they find that the deliberated proof of stake is actually good for some um, stuff as consensus. Uh, mechanism. And then another stuff uh, that makes this platform amazing is this stuff called the real time parameter adjustment. So, what that means is that uh, we can actually make changes to things like block time, um, 
of blog science presentation fee via voting without actually uh, causing harm to the system. And then another thing again is the they will be supporting mainstream languages in framework. So what I mean, most of um, most of the utility to uh, 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 utility uh, programming language like uh, there are many programming languages like uh, Go, uh, JavaScript, or whatever uh, uh, platform you want to call it, React, CS, um, and many other stuff. They will be providing support for them. And the more blockchain becomes so. And the more blockchain can actually provide support for more programming language, the more because if you have, you know you don't have to constrain people like um, software is not there are many programming like you have Haskell, you have uh, Go, you have C plus plus, you have uh, uh, Lua, you have Java, you have JavaScript. There are many. So by the time if it was to be one, imagine those days when it was one, it becomes a problem, right? And many of these programming languages have their own stuff. And then uh, smart code assistance. What that means is like, you know, when you uh, maybe a very good a, a very good example would be a platform like um, brackets. So this is kind of you, when you are typing the code or visual visual editor, you can easily make changes like okay. Uh, it, it can actually pop up like um, completion code. It can actually help you complete your code and other uh, platforms and other. And then not only will it help with uh, intelligent code completion, it will be provided in major in, in, in major in major languages. Like okay, whatever your language, it can actually help you. And then real time error check. So there will be this built uh, uh built-in game development uh, frame uh, um um work, workflow as we were talking about. And then there will be the Equita um SDK. Now, if you look fully away, that uh, most times when platforms develop things that makes it very easy for community, it it makes a lot of sense. Now, from the long-term view, the framework of blockchain will be providing um. It will not only support our own Equator chain, but will also be extended to support Ethereum, EOS, and other public chains, so that all HTML developers can efficiently create blockchain-based games and applications. You discover that there is real opportunity in this part. So you, you can find information about this. Uh, uh, Company, you can see some of their uh, statistics. Some of the investors, they've actually worked it in the partnership with some renowned companies. You can see our uh, TV report, and then using the uh, Ingrid game and engine tools, look at some of the games like Cash the Crazy Cat has 100 million users within three days. Your uh, your fish, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Uh, the first HTML uh, five page game with total user for more than fifteen million, and um, the list goes on and on. And then the, there was a two in just a week, two hundred two thousand uh, nine hundred and twenty uh, one mini games were created through the Egret uh, tokens. And you can see some of the uh, core members behind the team. So they are in partnership already uh, with Gala Sports and. Um, Beat Vikings, and here are some of the partners. So you can see it speaks for itself that track record. So, guys, that is all I have to say about um, this platform. None of my content constitutes financial advice, always do your own research, guys. And if you like this video, why not uh, hit the subscribe uh, uh, hit the subscribe button if you've not done that, and uh, put your comments below. Let me know what you think about this platform. Or if you have questions, just put them there. Thank you so much for being there.